Welcome to Inside Japan. This week, Japan will increase its consumption tax on consumer goods from 8 to 10%. And the specifics are a bit complicated, which may leave some people confused. So this week, we'll take a quick look at some of the key points and what you need to know when shopping in Japan. This tax hike is an effort to bolster the social security system due to Japan's aging population. And the additional revenue will also cover free preschool education. A 3% sales tax was created in 1989, and it later moved up to 5% in 1997, and then up to 8% in 2014. The raise to 10% was planned for 2017, but delayed due to concerns that it might negatively affect the economy. To help lower income families, essential food items will continue to be taxed at 8%. Alcohol and food at restaurants will be taxed at 10%. But in some cases, if you order it to go, it will be just 8%. So you may want to keep that in mind. The government is also using this as an opportunity to promote cashless payments in a land where cash is king. You can use credit, debit, or apps for a refund. With this e-payment promotion, you can get either a 2% or 5% refund to the app, depending on the size of the business. Large chain stores will earn the smaller refund, and a small to medium-sized business can get you 5% back, offsetting the recent tax increase. At the moment, Suica, Pasmo, and Nanako are quite popular, but new alternatives like PayPay and LinePay are continuing to pop up. The government has set aside a certain amount of money for this promotion, and the government will end it sooner if many people take advantage, so use it while you can. As the tax was just implemented, it's too early to tell how well it'll work but we'll keep you up to date. We hope you found this educational, and please feel free to leave questions and comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. This has been Inside Japan.